this session I'm going to go over the use of styles in a document in Word 365, Word 2013. As this headline says on this blog, be stylish, use word styles. Styles are a very effective tool in both saving you time in the design and the formatting of a document, as well as in providing you consistency throughout the document. So they save time and they provide consistency through the, throughout the document. So how do they work? Well, here we have a document, a long document here. And we're going to format this using styles. For the sake of saving time, I'm not going to have to retype all this thing, but we're going to simply reuse this. So what you do is that the styles, you can use any of those over here. Notice you have title, heading one, heading two, and so on. Or you can create your own. So initially we are going to apply existing styles and then you are going to, we are going to create our own as well and apply our own styles. So let's do the heading first. So now instead of us formatting this, making it larger, making it bold, making it underlined, and spending all this time and going throughout the document and clicking and changing and, and so on and having to remember how many times and how many things we changed, what we can do is we can apply, select the text here, and we can apply a style. So I can simply click on the, here on the title style, and then it's applied and it's good to go. Now, I can still, of course, modify this and make it bold and make it just customize it a little bit how, the way I want it. Or, as I'll show you in a moment, we can modify the style and whenever we apply that style, it's going to apply the new definition to it. If I wanted to go here to, let's say, heading number one, choose heading number one, go here, choose heading number one again, and so on. Now, if, like I mentioned earlier, so that's how you apply the style throughout the document. So in some cases, you'll apply here heading number two and heading number three and all that type of thing. So now, if I don't like this for whatever reason, let's say I wanted to make it bold and I want to make it a different color and so on, instead of me going through each one of those different options and clicking on bold and italics and whatever else, I can simply modify the style and the style then will up be updated throughout the document. Let's go here, right click. So you select an existing style, whatever it is. You choose and modify. You click on modify and then let's say I want it bold. Let's say the color I want it slightly different. Let's say this orange color here. And let's say the font I want it 18. And you can modify by the way any type of other stuff that you want here as well. You can click on format here and you can modify the paragraph, the tabs, the borders, the all kinds of other functionality as well. Now notice you can apply to this document only, or you can apply to new documents as well. That means that whenever you create a new document and you're gonna use one of those styles, it's gonna apply whatever definition you chose here at this time for this computer. If you're using a different computer, that will not, of course, apply. You can also click on automatically update and it's going to update wherever this style is used. Now that we tinkered with it, we modified it, it's going to apply it. So we click OK and notice the first one here changed, the second one here changed as well, but not the third one. The third one was because it is heading number two that we had applied. Now since we modified heading number one style, let's say we want to apply it again here, we simply, it has been redefined, it has been customized. We simply click on it and it's going to apply our, our orange color and other changes that we made to it. Again, if you want to use heading number two, we have not modified that yet, but we can. If we want to, notice we have two instances of it. We can, either one of them, we can pick either one of them. Right click, choose modify, change the color, let's say to 
screen here. And notice it's been updated in both places. So the idea is, is that, again, you change the style to what you want and you apply it throughout the document. You can use this for heading one styles, heading two, and so on. Now, you can also create your own style and give it your own name. So, for example, because heading one, heading two, heading three, and anything with a heading in there, that is connected to the table of contents, to creating a table of contents. So, if you have to create a table of contents and you have applied this heading one, heading two styles in the wrong places, then it can create problems when you generate the table of contents. And I'll cover that later as well when I create a new video on that. So there might be cases where you need something with a different name or whatever it may be. So what you do is you select this whole section here or this new area and now we are going to format this however we want it let's say i want it bold i want it underlined i want it italics and i want it large like that and i want let's say the color to be this kind now in this case what i can do is i can simply right click on this selection with the changes that i made so once I right click or select this new area with a new style, the new style that I want to create, then I click here on the drop down under styles and then choose create a style. Under create a style, it asks me what do I want to name this? So I could say you can make it proposal style or whatever type of name that you want to give to it. And then you click OK and now that has been saved so notice it created a new style with that so now if i go here to the next area i can apply that same style throughout my document if for some reason i want to modify this style at any point in time i can right click choose modify change it to something different And there it is, it's updated throughout the document. So hopefully that helps. Again, the use of styles is very effective in Microsoft Word and it saves you time and it provides you consistency throughout the document.